Welcome back to Pleasant View. We're here with the Dreamer family, and today Dirk and Lilith are gonna go out on a date and spend some quality adult time together. It's Saturday morning, Lilith has to be at work by 3 p.m., but they have enough time to get a little date in. We're gonna start by taking the family's new car down to the bar. Dirk and Lilith are just arriving at the Lost Lady, which is Pleasant View's bar, and they're gonna have some time alone today. Might wanna get out of the street, though. Let's at least go on the sidewalk, guys, come on. So close. Of course, we have to get in our sexy tickles and our dirty jokes. These are the worst date ones I've ever seen. Appreciate, dance, entertain, soak in hot. So, like, they don't even, they just want to get out of the house. There's no romance left. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's get romantic. He didn't even like the dirty joke. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Time to make out. Oh, she wants to woohoo. That was fast, and they have about an hour and a half before they need to leave. So we gotta get them upstairs fast. There's one hot tub at the Lost Lady where everybody does their woohoo-it. She wants to woohoo in the car. Okay, never mind. we're going in the car. <gasps> they can't even wait long enough to get up to the hot tub. They're like, no, 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 let's just jump in the car. Let's just jump in the car and have a quickie. <laughs> woohoo. It's not gonna be a risky woohoo. One thing I hate about custom cars <laughs> is this. The fog on the windows floats above the actual window on a custom car. The way things are going, I don't, I'm not sure Dirk and Lilith will ever have another child, but that's just the way that their life turned out. You know, not everybody in Pleasant View needs to have 50,000 kids. Angela, they didn't even go into the bar today. <laughs> they just stayed outside on the sidewalk and woohooed in the car. They just needed to get away from their kid for a while. Okay, it's 1.18 and Lilith has to go to work at two. So we're gonna go ahead and end this date. It wasn't much of a date, but it was a nice way to put them both in platinum them, get a little quality time together. <laughs> Holy cow, he never knew a date could be that much fun. Who knew a date on the sidewalk could be so much fun, Dirk? <laughs> and a quick woohoo in the car. Car woohoo is the absolute worst. So uncomfortable. Meanwhile, back at home, Helen is doing some chores around the house. She's very clean. She's always cleaning up. She's always helping out. And all she really wants to do today is make friends, especially with Stinky Lance. So just for fun, let's call him up and invite him over. Come on over, Lance, but make sure you take a shower first. <laughs> Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. Last time we played the Dreamer family, Lance got sprayed by a skunk. Looks like he's taken a bath in tomato juice and gotten all the skunk stank. Skunk stank off of him. Aw, how sweet. I don't know why Helen likes him so much. <gasps> He's flirting with her and she's into it. She did not reject him. <gasps> Helen! Helen just got a crush on Stinky Lance, as he's known in Pleasant View. They have no chemistry together. He's been hitting on her for years and she's been turning him down and all of a sudden she's into it. I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna have you guys do friendly interactions because all she really wants is to be best friends with him. But Lance is slowly worming his way into her heart. He loves her insights into algebra and school. Apparently, they, they're they both very interested in school, which is nice. Lance is definitely gonna have to go to college with Helen now if she goes. Tomorrow, she gets to make her decision. Oh, that's what you do to the boy you have a crush on. You give him a noogie. <laughs> he hated it. Yeah, see, sometimes Helen can be very mean. Lilith and Dirk got back just in time for Lilith to go to work in like three minutes. That was perfect timing on my part. Helen's upstairs getting ready to go out this evening, and Lance is playing chess with Dirk. Dirk likes Lance. I don't think he would mind if Helen started dating him. We're gonna ask Lance if he wants to form a casual group uh, for fun. Uh-oh, we got a chance card for Lilith. Lilith's been given the nod to step into the role, but with Limpy out of the way, her own character Dagby Llama of the Lower City Llamas may be able to step into the currently vacant limelight. Oh yeah, she would steal the limelight for sure. Oh <gasps> no, Lilith, no, she lost her job. Son of a... Okay, well, this is the second time that Lilith has been fired from the athletic career. She has never been able to hold a job, even in the in the career field that she enjoys most. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lilith. I'm so sorry. She was fired a while ago. Um, that was before Helen got taken by the social worker. And now she's been fired again. At least you don't have to wear that stupid llama costume anymore. She needs social and fun badly. So I'm gonna have her go in and make out with Dirk right away. Oh, Dirk's already coming to her. Dirk, he, he, he senses that something's wrong. He's coming for her. 
Oh, uh, she's gonna kiss up his arm. Did I just see a dog pee in the floor? Okay, we'll deal with that later. We have more important things to do, like make out. Helen's just like, I don't see this. I'm not seeing this. Nothing is happening here. Oh, no, she sees it. <laughs> I think it's time that Helen and Lance get out of here for the night. They do not want to watch... Lilith and Dirk make out in the living room. Helen and Lance are arriving at the brand new Pleasant View roller rink. This is a lot that we built on my last live stream, uh, most of it anyway, and I came back and did a little bit more because we need a place for Helen to go and practice her hobby, which is skating. Looks like Lance turned on the jukebox so they could get started skating. Go ahead, Helen. She's not gonna be very good to start with, but she'll get better. This is her hobby. Oh no, she busted her butt. <laughs> Keep trying, Helen. I believe in you. I love the skating in The Sims 2. It's so cute. Oh, she's done. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's cool. She is quite hungry. I think we'll go upstairs and get something to eat from the little diner. Let's go get a hot dog. I put a little diner upstairs to make sure that our Sims could get some food while they were here skating. Oh <gasps> no, no, Marissa. How dare you do this to me? No, no, Lance, no. <laughs> no. I got the pink soup, y'all. I got a bad case. We're gonna have to restart. Let's see if I can get Helen through her meal at least first. Oh, no, Lance, no, Lance. <laughs> Lance and Marissa. <laughs> this is how we use the vending machines in Pleasant View. Oh, no, here comes another sim. Here comes Lisa Ramirez. She left her arms behind. Helen's just like, yeah, I, I'm having a... What, what are you even eating? I told you to get a hot dog. Uh, what was she eating with chopsticks? Okay, this isn't good. All right, we, we gotta leave. We gotta leave. Nina, no, not you too. <laughs> Oh no. Well, it's 10 o'clock anyway, and Helen needed to get home, so I'm not too upset. Meanwhile, back at home, Lilith desperately needs fun and social after she got fired, so I'm gonna have she and Dirk do a little woohoo. I normally don't have my Sims woohoo unless they want to or they do it autonomously, but there's one exception to that rule, and that's whenever somebody gets fired because their fun and social is so low. This is a really good way to lift both of them up really fast. Well, the social anyway. You only got like a quarter of fun from the woohoo Lilith. That didn't help as much as I hoped. As an alternative to woohoo, they're going to throw the football around in the front yard in their underwear of a Saturday night. I mean, what could be more fun and romantic than that? <laughs> Luckily, Helen's not here to see her parents doing this. Football is Lilith's hobby, so she really likes to toss the football around with Dirk. Um, excuse me, Abji. Why did you just walk up in our house like this? Okay, Abjit Depies just walked into our house uninvited and stood there staring at us in our underwear. <laughs> Helen just got home and Lance came with her. Lilith really needs to put some clothes on. I don't think this is appropriate with Lance. Oh yeah, Lance is getting an eyeful over here. <laughs> He's helping himself to some salad. He's just making himself at home over here at the dreamer house. Um, yes? What the hell is this? Uh, yeah, yes? Oh, no, no, no. Somebody just offered Dirk a job? What the hell is happening? No, no, no. He doesn't want whatever you're offering. Random dude who just walked into our house. Where are these townies coming from? Leave. No. Um, it's after midnight and you just walked up in my house and offered me a job? Please leave. Please leave, Sean McGuire. Looks like Lance is also heading home. See you, Stinky. Well, today is Helen's 18th birthday and she has rolled the want to go to college. We're gonna lock that in. She is definitely going to be going today. And that means Lance is going with her. In the meantime, she's gonna spend some quality time with her family. She's really gonna miss her mom and dad. They have such a close relationship. They are best friends forever, 100 out of 100 relationship. So I know it's going to be really hard for Helen being away from home for the very first time. But at the same time, she's looking forward to this new experience. She's also really going to miss her dog, Graybert. She's she's not going to be here whenever he ages to an adult, but he'll be waiting for her when she gets home from college. Dirk is talking to Helen about babies? Oh, I think he's telling her to be careful when she's in college. <laughs> Don't get pregnant. <laughs> Oh no! Graybird just grew into an adult! Never mind! Never mind what I said before! She's gonna be here for his aging up! Graybird, where are you? Oh my god, why is his leg so skinny? <laughs> why does he look like that? Oh my god, Graybird! 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 <laughs> oh my god! 
my god, that's really what he looks like. I thought he was still aging up. Why doesn't he have purple eyes anymore? What happened to the dog? <laughs> oh my god, those legs. <laughs> we should have named you Tiny. Um. Well, that's a dog. <laughs> don't know i've never seen a dog like this before i <laughs> funny. oh he's cute he's cute he lost his purple eyes and um i don't know how those twigs are supporting his dog body <laughs> But this is the dreamer's family dog. Before she leaves for school, Helen's taken one more trip to the roller rink to practice her skating. This might be the last time she gets to go skating for a while. There, oh no, she's still not very good. She's got her whole life to get better though. She's only got one body skill. So I think as her body skill increases, she'll get better at skating. Oh, look who it is. It's Sandy Broody in all her glory. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> you look like you've been road hard and put up wet. I see you, Don Lothario. You better stay away from our sweet, innocent Deborah Broke. <gasps> oh my god, Melody Tinker just attacked Helen. Melody, no, why are you being so mean? Helen probably started it. Helen probably. Oh yeah, Helen started it. She just started a fight with Sophie Miguel. <sighs> Well, here's our evidence of Helen being a mean girl. She's just walking up to random teen girls at the skating rink and poking them. Oh, but she gets along fabulously with Sandy Broody. I guess Sandy's no competition for her. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's going to have an enemy in Melody Tinker. Ooh, she dislikes Melody and she dislikes Sophie Miguel. And they've done nothing to her. She's just attacking these poor girls. Helen, why are you doing this? There's no reason for this. There she goes again. Okay, well, we don't have time to stay here and fight. You've got to go home and get ready for school. It's already 4.15. Back at home, Lilith and Dirk are making some romance out on the front lawn again. <laughs> I wonder what the neighbors think about these two. I think it's time to pull Dirk off of Lilith and let him go work on his logic skill. Lilith has a ton of aspiration rewards and I am so tired of all the annoying secondary pleasure wants that I am going to purchase the Renew You Senso Orb and use this on her and Dirk so that we can reset their secondary aspirations. Reset lifetime aspiration benefits, please. These pleasure wants are just clogging up Lilith's life. Her want slots constantly. And they're so annoying. I'm done. I'm done with pleasure. I hate pleasure. All right, Lilith, don't hurt yourself now. Don't hurt yourself. All right, let's reset these bad boys. So I'm going to give her the popularity tree and then I'm going to give her the needs tree. We're going to do the same thing for Dirk here. Look at that wiggling booty. Oh no, the skunk is back. Get out of here, skunk. Lance isn't here for you to spray. We're giving him, of course, his fortune tree, his needs tree. Or no, I'm going to give him the work tree. Fortune, work, and needs. Dirk's just about to get that logic skill, and that is all he needs for his promotion. He will be ready to get that promotion. He's already vice president level seven, but something about Dirk, he may never be able to get a promotion. He was expelled from college. He doesn't have a degree. I use a mod that makes it that, so that he cannot get past level five, but he's at level seven. How did he manage to do that? He is smooth. That's how. A lot of luck, a lot of pulling strings, a lot of meeting the right people but that may be as high as he'll ever go. Helen's just getting home from the skating rink. She's got less than an hour until we have to get her to college. She's got to immediately go in, apply for scholarships and leave. Okay, we're gonna apply for scholarships. I don't think she's gonna qualify for anything. She has a B minus in school, but you never know. Nope, she does not qualify for any scholarships at this time. Call back and let's immediately move out. She's calling for a taxi to come take her away to her new life in the dorms. And here she goes, bye mom and dad. Lilith's, Lilith's busy cleaning. I don't know where her dad is. Nobody's nobody's saying goodbye. She's just walking out. <laughs> Bye, Helen. We'll see you soon. <gasps> Holy crap! Holy crap, Melba! Holy dirty Melba! We just got a freaking lamp. Who got the lamp? Lilith. Lilith found a magical lamp. Oh my god. 
This could be the answer to all of our prayers. We could use the lamp to cure the Pleasant View pandemic. I can't believe this happened. So the way I play with magic lamps is the person who found the lamp gets one wish and the wish is based on their aspiration. If you want to see more about this, you can go to PleasantSims.com and look at my Sims 2 gameplay rules. But anyone and I'm gonna add this to the rules, I haven't added it yet. Anyone can wish for the cure to illness if we need it at the time. So Lilith's gonna have to think long and hard about what she wants to wish for. And let's bring that thing inside before anybody sees it, oh my God. We're gonna store it in Helen's room since she's not gonna be back for a while. Lilith thought long and hard about her responsibility in the community and she's decided to do the right thing. She's summoning the genie. I am an all-powerful genie with the fabric of the universe at my command. I will grant you three wishes. Okay, so Lilith gets her free wish. Don't go play games, Lilith. She is going to wish to cure the plague in Pleasant View. It's finally coming to an end. We've been battling the Pleasant View pandemic for so long, and Lilith single-handedly saves the neighborhood. Cure that plague, Lilith. Please, genie, hear my plea. Cure the neighborhood. She had to think about it for a second. Wish granted. All right, it's happened. I'm so excited. 14 people were still infected. 14 diseases cured. Okay, let's dismiss the genie. Now, in order to get the other two wishes, someone else on the lot has to roll the want for a wish. We'll see if that happens in the future. I do that to keep my Sims from getting too much benefit from the wishes. I like to control their usage of the magic lamp because it's a bit cheaty. And if you're wondering about how I got that wish uh, to cure the plague, it is a mod by Saijon, which I will link to down below in the description box. So now let's talk about the final ages for the Dreamer family in this round. Dirk is now 48 years old. Lilith is 47 and their daughter Helen is 18. Can you believe that Dirk and Lilith have a college age child? Seems like just yesterday they were in college themselves. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pleasant View the Next Generation. In our next episode, we're gonna be playing Lucy and Alexander Goth and their children. Lilith, are you sleeping with your eyes open? That is so creepy. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right, anyway, I'm gonna leave this weirdness. <laughs> My name is Cindy and I will see you with a new video very soon. Thank you so much for watching.